Hey, we're in the city of Upland and I'm gonna share with you exactly what it costs to live out here. So I think the biggest expense, just like anywhere else, is gonna be housing. And here in California, housing prices are up. There is a housing shortage. So just like anything else, high demand, low supply, there's a shortage, boom. What does it do to price? Jacks it up. All started from 2012 and it's been, it's been going up. There's a big dip in the beginning of 2020 because of we all know, and then it skyrocketed. So, and, that, and, and it stayed that way. There's a big shortage, there's tons of homelessness. We have a homelessness issue. Uh, and to live indoors, that costs have skyrocketed. Unfortunately, there's not gonna be much change to that in the next few years. Maybe I look at this video five years from now and it was like, wow, what was I thinking? How, how did we not see that coming, right? If there's a change, they may not be. I mean, uh, there's a housing shortage, they are building, but they're not building fast enough in my opinion. And according to most experts. So here, particularly in the city of Upland, this is one of the most desirable areas of the Inland Empire. Uh, it's not the most, but it is one of them. It reaches them. And since there's a housing, uh, since there's a housing shortage, that makes the prices more expensive. What does that mean? It's about $100,000 more expensive to live here in Upland than on the average in another home, similar home in the Inland Empire, which is about an 18% jump. So what you find here for $700,000, you might be able to find that same one for $600,000 in another town. Now, why is that? Um, honestly, for me, it's gotta be the views, the schools, uh, these houses are larger and nicer. Um, I'm in one of their parks, the parks are pretty clean. And now when it comes to renting, I don't do any rentals, I just do the home sales. You're gonna find about the same difference. Something that's $3,000 a month, like a three bedroom house rental, you're gonna be paying about $3,500 a month to live here at, if you're gonna be renting for a three bedroom house. Now, if you're paying that much in rent, why not buy something, right? I, I always say that. Well, the biggest thing is there's that, uh, you need a down payment, you need to have all your financial affairs in order so it's not as easy as just going out and buying something uh, if you have any questions about that you'll say hey oscar how much can i really afford go ahead and give me a call i can give you some rough numbers on what it is and what you can afford and what it will look what that house would look like in your budget i'm a real estate broker here in southern california so i'm able to help you with all those things i work with the best lenders to get you the best rates as well so something else that you will be saving you're paying more in housing but you will be saving is probably because of the schools. You don't have to send your kid to a private school because the public school education is not as good. As you can see on niche.com shows that you are able to get into a public school that has like an A, A minus rating. So imagine that, instead of spending an extra thousand bucks on a private school, you save that, but you'll be paying that in the cost of housing. Uh, it's kind of a wash. At least it's not both. At least it's not expensive housing and expensive schooling right so that also drives the demand good schools people want their kids to have a good education and according to niche.com and a lot of people who live here this schooling is pretty good people seem to like it which means people are willing to pay more to live in this area which drive the prices up now when we talk about healthcare, bestplaces.net shows that healthcare is actually less expensive than it is in the rest of the state my opinion, I'm not a healthcare professional, but I think it has a lot to do with Covered California. Because uh, as an independent contractor, I use Covered California, and those prices seem pretty reasonable to me. Uh, I talk to other people that have to use their jobs insurance, and they pay more to get less. Now, again, for me it's good, for others it's not so good. That's just life. Overall, it is a little bit cheaper healthcare-wise here in Upland just based on those numbers. Now, wherever you move, you're probably gonna fight in the same numbers because it's healthcare is not really based so much on where you live, really on how much you make. Cars, auto, transportation, what's the deal? When it comes to comparing New York, where I'm from, to Southern California, it is less expensive to maintain your car here in, in SoCal than it is in New York. Biggest thing, snow, rain, 
it's like no snow there it rains you know whatever a month out of the year at most um, so you don't have to deal with that salt you don't have to deal with these giant potholes but there are pot potholes so if you're driving down let's say arrow highway here in upland you're gonna be like man what's wrong with this road look at all these potholes and that will create more wear and tear on your car now here's the deal when it came to housing and real estate it's more expensive here in upland so when you go to your upland mechanic and she has to charge you more to fix your car it's because she has to pay more in rent and now you have to absorb that here's what i think if you feel comfortable with that go ahead and do it you want to support your community go for it no problem if you want to save some bucks head down to holt avenue in montclair go to auto pros go see jim his prices are great he's super fast he does good work so you'll be able to save money that way why because it's less expensive real estate wise out there that's one of the reasons the other reason i mean that dude's super efficient so He's probably, he's probably able to like reduce his cost quite a bit. Uh, I don't get paid to promote him. I just like him because that's where I put my car. That's why I send my car and my wife's car. So, uh, I'll, you know, I'll support him because for free because he does a good job. If you're thinking of relocating out here and you say, hey, Oscar, I like Upland. What else can I compare that to? What other communities should I be looking into? Go ahead, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I got your back. I'll share all the information with you. So when it comes to utilities, in the summertime, when it gets like 110 degrees out here, um, you're gonna have an electric bill of about like 500 bucks. I mean, it's just no way around it. What are you gonna do, sweat, you know, the whole house? Man, that is crazy. So yeah, you're gonna have to be paying more for that electric bill. Winter time, it might get a little colder and you're gonna have to pay for that gas bill. Um, if you're into that solar stuff, that may reduce your cost, but also take consideration how much it costs to install a $40,000 a solar system right so what are you saving i don't know do those things really last they last 25 years but it's probably long how long it takes to pay it off so is it a good deal for me the jury's still out i like the i like the idea of having solar and everything being cool and green and saving money and saving the planet but i think there's a lot of middlemen involved that are just inflating the price but that's just my opinion what do i know when it comes to the internet, they use, I think, Charter and Fios, and you'll be able to pick up like a uh, $50 uh, internet, which is pretty good. That's what I pay in my house. You might be able to save, find something for 40 bucks or something like that. So now when it comes to the cost of food, you got some really nice uh, supermarkets. You have Whole Foods, you have Vons, and you're gonna have to pay those nice prices. So it's a little bit more inflated. If you go outside of Upland to different communities, maybe south side of Upland, then yeah, you might be able to save a few bucks. Uh, but other than that, they have some great supermarkets with some high quality products. Uh, just know it's gonna be a little bit more. Uh, but if you're living out here and you can afford it, then great, you can afford it. So when it comes to childcare, I have a toddler. He's just gonna start school, uh, just turning three. Childcare costs, that was a concern for me. And according to wecare.com, it looks like any family is going to be paying about 250 bucks a week or like a thousand to eleven hundred dollars per month in child care if you're going to leave your kid with like a babysitter or one of those uh daycares uh and that's per kid so if you have two man that, that cost just jumps up maybe if you have an eight-year-old and a three-year-old the eight-year-old goes to public school you can be okay with that maybe there's some uh after school programs they might be able to enjoy but as of now the smaller one you're going to have to go to a daycare so overall upland ranks higher in cost of living than the other communities the other cities here in the inland empire now if you compare it to like claremont and you start looking at la county well that's now you, that's a different animal, right? We're talking about the Inland Empire, San Bernardino County. I have a lot of information as a real estate agent that I'll be able to share with you. No cost, no obligation. I like helping people out. So go ahead and reach out. My contact information is here. Now, if you're saying Upland looks good, I like everything about it. I want to know what it's really like to live there. I did a video on one of the newest communities that they're opening here in Upland, California. It's called Enclave. It's off of Central and Foothill and 11th. It's one of the newest communities that they're building check it out, check out this video. And if you have any questions about that one or others, go ahead and reach out. Talk to you guys later.